what about that Raven joint you hit me with? I can't take, you see, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a studier, so I got to get the footnote properly. But when you broke that information, that revelation, you remember which one I'm talking about? What the, the uh, oh, the, the Raven operating out of its, uh, its natural habitat and being, with, instead, with, instead of with being- Elijah. Oh yeah, with Elijah. Because typically Ravens aren't a servant to, they're not servants, but yet still, that's what God used to bring and to defeat his servant, the raven. In the middle of a famine. There goes that famine again. The earth is always gonna cleanse itself. The earth is throwing up or the earth is having a, you know, a bowel movement right now. Mm -hmm. And we keep saying, no, we gotta go back to what it was. Earth's like, oh, oh my God, my stomach. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 that sounds like a plague to me. That sounds like, see the word judgment once again they said don't be judging me no judgment is the result of it's cause and effect karma all those other words we're cool with that but we don't want to hear the word judgment but judgment is the father of those other seeds mm -hmm. see with judgment comes accountability <laughs> when you want to be removed from accountability that's why that's why the language when you abuse language they understand it because certain words mean certain things yeah that, that so when you say judgment oh there's accountable, there's accountable uh, a level of accountability that takes place. So then you have to question the whys, the who, the what. What did I do? So therefore, mm -hmm. don't judge me means, oh, you're not God. You're not perfect. Don't look right. at you to deflect. Because what the scripture says, it's best that you judge yourself less than the world judge you. Because the world's not forgiven. As you can see, many people who have skirted by, hidden their... Uh, evil deeds with uh, underneath the rug and now when they come to light they've suffered a major catastrophic fall that they can't recover from but if you're God um, like, is it? You, following that same train of thought you have to remember when Elijah went Elijah went to Ahab and said the rain is coming because the servant Gehazi had seen I think it was Gehazi it might be mm -hmm. that one servant Gehazi said I see the cloud the size of a man's hand you know how small that is imagine this man famine for years and then you see the cloud the size of a hand a man's hand and then he go and tell him and then that's what did he do he went to where the prophets of Baal Bula <laughs> he went to them and said you call him your God I call him my God let's see whose God's gonna answer by fire there you might want to cry louder because your gods are not winning anymore your gods are not alive anymore he went to the prophets of Baal uh -huh. he challenged them <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Bringing light and changing cultures to me is about creativity and individuality and also just about your influence and the impact that you're going to leave once you leave the earth. Carbonado meets Black Diamond is all about celebrating black culture and celebrating our creativity as well as supporting black owned businesses and entrepreneurship. Bringing light and changing cultures. But the man, that's the first place is getting back to God. We got to get back to relationship, back in the garden, back in the flow, and tilling the earth, doing our job. Or well, the earth is going to keep keep putting us in the shape. So it says, come and tell me and take care of me. And once you learn how to, like we were saying earlier, if you learn how to take care of the earth, then you know how to take care of the goddess of the earth, as some would like to say, or the woman, because she is a replication in flesh of the earth itself. You feel me? That's why we did dowry systems in our tradition. To pass down seed based on longevity. So the whole idea. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Was it blocking? No, no, you good, you good. Okay. You dig what I'm saying though? Yeah, yeah. Because even right now, 
you know, because you, you even you just talked about something, uh, the man, uh, the man see, and even paying attention to who you even have relations with, because mm-hmm. a lot of it, you know, a lot of it sometimes stems from a man's pain. So it feels like he has to conquer something, or he or he has to, he he falls right back to the very thing that he shouldn't be doing. And depositing, so he, he's going. It's actually a form of abuse if you think about it. It's, it's it's gratifying the flesh, but it's a form of abuse because it's turning your pain into something else, and you're utilizing, objectifying, or utilizing a female woman that you don't know anything about. Spirit ties nothing. And you think, Man, we used to go on the road, and they'd be like, "I'm gonna knock this joint down. I don't care if I don't got no condom on." What? What? <laughs> She fat, dog. You know what I'm saying? She this. And I'd be like, yo. It's the same way people turn to alcohol. Mm-hmm. Turn to, it's the same thing. Same way people turn to religion. It's, it's like a fix for a, a moment of gratification because you want to almost have that out of earth reality. You're trying to run away from reality. So let me get this. That'll do it. Every time. Because we're not in a reality. Exactly. exactly. We're not in a So it makes you mentally. It throws you off, but that is a part of the, the psychology of that thought process and culture. See, I don't worry about c- color because it's thought process and culture. Mm-hmm. Race is just a byproduct. They, that's just easily used. That's, that's antiquated too. Everyone has two feet, you know, come on. That seems very archaic to me. Once again, just proving the point of the thought process is just so, so we need to move on. If it's not producing life, if it's not pushing things forward in real in a real way, then we have to look at it for what it is and hold it accountable, regardless of color, regardless of what your political position is. It's not, it's not facts. It's not like universal law. Universal law is the rain falls on everyone. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What goes that, up will come down, period. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy the show, we would love your support. Visit our Facebook page, hit like and follow on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.